Listen, I don't need this. I don't know how you got in with this sort of organization skill. Okay. But the screamies come first. Oh my god, Megan, I can't even do this. You're making me so nervous. I can't even just go into the screamies. We'll go. You need to get your butt home as fast as uh oh and spaghetti oh. She said she'd be here. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to our third, <laughs> third <laughs> annual Screamies. I'm your host, Mary, and this is my co-host, Bethany. We are so excited to have you here today. You guys know what this is. This is our live Screamies award show as a fundraiser for Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue. And if you're new here and you don't know what Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue is, it is the kitten rescue that we operate and work under. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we have so many fun things for you guys to see today and do today. It's kind of jam-packed. Yeah. Um, so thank you for being patient with us with some of the glitches. Uh, I was watching the chat. You're right. It's on brand. <laughs> if, it were, if anything in my life worked normal... I, I, it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. We have some games, we have some fun things, and we have, most importantly, a bunch of categories. So just to go over how the voting is going to work, because this year we did not do a pre-voting, so all of the voting is going to happen live. As the video is playing, right now, <laughs> as the video is playing, you're going to see a poll pop up in the YouTube chat, and that's where you're going to vote. Um, you can either choose to wait to watch the entire video of the recap and then vote, or if you know who you want to vote for, go for it. Um, but that is what the plan is. Yes. That is what we are going to do. We are so excited. Um, just wanted to do a quick shout out to our sponsors this year. Yes. So we've got amazing sponsors. We have Cat Marie Designs. They have been donating to the Screamies since the beginning. Um, we've got Simply Be Vermont, and then we have a new um, sponsor this year, uh, Beetle Makes. And we also have Churu, Churu, which they have been by our side for a few years as well. So yes. We're so excited. We are loving this, and um, if you guys are ready, let's, do it. Let's, j let's jump right into today's first video. If you couldn't tell, mm -hmm. our first category was the wonkiest baby. Yes. We had quite a few wonky ones this year. Yeah. Amelia was the first one. Yeah, she was. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys remember that because it happened like a full year ago mm -hmm. at this point. We got a call about a kitten who had three legs and just showed up in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. In the middle of nowhere. And we were like, this kid. Where's your leg, girl? <laughs> where's your leg? We were expecting some like awful mess right. because what kitten just shows up in the middle of nowhere with no leg? And we showed up, and she had no leg, and she was perfectly healthy. Yeah. And we took her to our vet, and our vet said, 
her leg was just like that. And so that's what she was. And then we had, of course, Siren, Mm -hmm. who, uh, you know, his mom ate his leg, (laughs) as we'll get to later. (laughs) And we he eventually had to have his leg amputated as well. That was a fun thing. And then many enucleations Mm -hmm. this year. We had fraud who just happened out of nowhere. Yeah. His eye was a fraud. Okay. Uh, And then, (laughs) of course, we had Copper, who you guys, um, he got adopted eventually with Hannah, who Mm -hmm. will also be part of this. Um, So, if you haven't already, how's the voting going? Can I check in the back? Not yet? Okay. We're working on it. (laughs) (laughs) It was was kind of the year of the wonky in that variety. I think especially with just, like, missing limbs. Yeah. That was kind of first, wasn't it? Yeah, that really was. Like, yeah. just showing up with missing limbs. I think every year we talk about this, how there's always a theme. Yes. The theme last year was, like, ringworm. Yeah. yeah. It's a fun theme. <laughs> it's not the best theme. This <laughs> ringworm, year, for wait, sure. ringworm for yeah. sure was last year. I don't know what else was last year. Ringworm was the one I that I mean, really... there's always eye, eye things. There's always eye things. Yeah. This year, I feel like our big one was FELV. Yes. And then big also... One eye and legs yeah i mean even now which you guys will get to meet them after the stream no they're not here but i will like post about them (laughs) they um they are two adults that came into our care and they have had to have their legs amputated as well so it's been it's been a wild wild time Mm -hmm. um where are we at with the voting okay so you know like I said, this wouldn't be anything without glitches. So while we are waiting and getting things set up <laughs> to keep you guys anticipating things, why don't we play um, Would You Rather? All right. We were planning to do this a little bit later in the stream, but on my Patreon, we did a live stream where we came up with things. Would You Rather Kit and Rescue Edition? And I have seen them, um, and I uh, I have some answers already, but Bethany has not seen I them. Not seen them. So I think this will be a fun little <laughs> would you rather as we wait for my branded chaos to um, work itself out. Let's do it. Let me grab my handy-dandy notebook <laughs> and we will get right to it. Are you ready for the yes, first one? I'm excited. I, think you're I gonna, love would you rather. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to love this one. Okay. okay, ready? Yes. Would you Would you rather go under a house to rescue kittens from a spider-infested crawl space or would you rather confront your own emotions? Oh, I would definitely rather go under a house <laughs> to rescue kittens. <laughs> Just like, have done that before already, and that's much easier than confronting your emotions. It was really gross, though. Do you remember that one time when we were going, we were looking for kittens under a trailer, uh-huh. and we had to, like, peel off the side of the trailer to go under, Yeah, and there was just cobwebs yes. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad. But not <laughs> but, as scary as confronting your own emotions. <laughs> We're Correct. mentally well around we here, folks. Yeah, we okay. are. Next one. Okay. Would you rather have ringworm or FIV? Oh, FIV. Oh, so That's easy. Easy peasy. If you guys don't know FIV already and you've heard of it and you're like, FIV is so scary. It's not. It's not scary. It's not scary. Oh. I mean, I think the biggest thing we worry about whenever we rescue kittens is panleukopenia. Yes. Ringworm would be next just because it's annoying. Yeah. But... FIV is not a no, big of a deal. A and deal. even this year with FELV, it became less of a scary thing. It did. I yeah. mean, it still can be devastating. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. So if you have had experience with FELV, it can still be devastating. But it's still a good time. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like not as scary. No. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather wake up every three hours to feed bottle babies or set a healthy work-life balance? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I am working on setting a healthy <laughs> work-life balance, but I love bottle babies. I so know. It's, it's a toss-up. <laughs> For me, I I would like to set up a healthy work-life balance because right now I could not do bottle babies with being in school. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's, that's I, a lot. I think it would lose my mind. I mean, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's but the hard. goal is for you to be able to have bottle babies yeah. all the time. I do love bottle babies. We do love I bottle don't babies. get them often. No. I think... I think you haven't had them since the first time that I gave them to you a long time ago. Yeah. That's not like real full time ones. No. No, no. Next. Okay. Would you rather have a room full of stuff?
screaming savvy babies or a room full of orange kittens with only one brain cell. So mm. a room of mushrooms mm -hmm. or a room of udon noodles. I'm going to have to go with udon noodles. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I just, I love them. They're so dumb. They're so, so entertaining. <laughs> I mean, they do get into shenanigans. That's such shenanigans. Yeah. It's fun. I'd rather have the tabby. Maybe. This is why Bethany's the yin to my yang. <laughs> because she wants the opposite, typically. Mm -hmm. But somehow we're on the same page. Yeah. It works out. Especially because for me, if they're screaming, I can make them say mean things to me. That's true. That's and true. that's healthy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Would you rather get cockroaches in your hair in the attempt to rescue a cat or go through the really long observation period for one, for one, for that one vaccine that's like two sets of 90 days with a full rescue? Oh. Are you talking about FIP? Yeah. Okay. I... I hate cockroaches, so I'm going to have to go with a really long observation period. I would rather be patient than deal with that. Listen, there's a reason this is for the love of kitten rescue and not the, for the love of cockroach rescue. Yeah. <laughs> Kay's face off camera. She's like, no. <laughs> this is so bad. Okay. Would you rather have a cat destroy your blinds or puke on your bed? Hmm. I would probably say puke on my bed because it happens all the time anyways. Oh, and so I will actually do something about that. Like you can wash that easily. The blinds will just stay broken forever. So <laughs> <laughs> jokes on me. I have both. Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> there is no like, would you Sometimes rather Sometimes it's, it's all the same. Sometimes your fate is chosen for you. Mm -hmm. Next one. Would you rather catch fleas from the new ferals or ringworm? Hmm. I, I think know. it depends on like the the degree of catching fleas. Yeah, yeah. Like, are we infested, or is it like one or two, and then right. they're we're good? Right, because I'd probably say fleas, honestly. Oh yeah, I, I agree. mean, like as long as they haven't spread to like everyone in my house yet, I right. can do that. Well, because I don't know about you, which I'm sure you are, but all of my cats in my house are on a flea preventative. So even if they were in the house, yeah. Those fleas would be gone. And ringworm, listen, guys, I have never cried more in rescue than when my whole house got ringworm. And I'm up till 2 a.m. cleaning, mm -hmm. crying in the corner, <laughs> wondering what, how I got here. I had a PhD, and I'm crying in a corner at 2 a.m. over ringworm. It will do that to you. It will ruin no you. Joke. It yeah. will literally ruin you. <laughs> Would you rather run around the building to catch a cat or wait two hours for a drop trap? I would rather just run around the building. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, if I have a chance, you know. Right. Usually they if don't. I'm like, I can get you. Yeah, it's usually not very smart to run around buildings trying to catch kittens. With your bare hands, no gloves. Bare hands, no gloves. They do tend to bite you. Yeah. Personally, I'd rather sit and wait for the drop <laughs> trap because then I can usually watch videos. and. That's true. Have my alone time. That's true. In my yeah. enclosure. All by myself. It's all a balance. It's all a balance. Yeah. Would you rather have a very, very stinky TNR cat or a very, very loud, spicy TNR cat? Mm. Is this, I guess, we'll just go with stinky. Stinky? Yeah. Yeah, I prefer them not to scream. Yeah. That sounds bad, <laughs> but it's true. <laughs> nothing, nothing hurts my sensory issues more than a loud scream. True. Yeah. Would you put you, up with the smell. You kind of get used to it. Sort yeah. of. The, there's nothing quite like walking into the garage with a boy male smell. And But it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You throw away the things uh -huh. and it's good. You wash yeah. the towels, move them right along. Would you rather have an overweight cat or an underweight cat? Overweight. Overweight? Yeah. Because, I mean, you, you should do something about that. But underweight is scary. And it can so go scary. downhill, like, really quickly. Yeah. I like the thrill of life and living life on the edge. <laughs> I prefer an underweight cat. There you go. Because uh, overweight cats, or as we call in vet school, overconditioned. I haven't heard that. Yeah. That is that is the terminology. <laughs> it is called overconditioned. Your condition should not be over. It should be under. Okay, great. Yeah, underweight for me. Okay. Um, We're going to finish these up, and then I have gotten word that we are... 
rocking and rolling, and I love that for us. Yay. Thanks for bearing with us, guys. Would you rather spill tuna on yourself at the beginning of the night TNR and or have your phone die? <laughs> um, I mean, I it happens every time. Every like, time. Like, every time. Like, you get tuna, you get sardine juice on you. Oof. You didn't bring any paper towels. Because why? Because dumb. why would you? Why would you? It's never literally happened before except last time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you would think I would just have them in the car, but I don't. So. I don't. <laughs> and I need my phone. Yeah, I, I do too. It's my binky. <laughs> I'm 31. <laughs> Would you rather have a kitten that hates other cats or can't handle being without other cats? Mm. I, you've had, I've had I've both. Had both. It's, it's tough. I like them to have, I like them to have friends. I though. like them to have friends. Yeah. I imagine a lonely me without friends. And that was sad. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm fine. <laughs> Would you rather be able to snap your fingers to magically fulfill decontamination protocols or magically download any med- medical info you need to your brain? Ooh, that's a good one. I, I mean, for I don't have to necessarily have the medical info in my brain, so I'll just snap my fingers. And decontaminate. I also would like to just snap my fingers and decontaminate <laughs> because, again, when you're up at 2 a.m. crying about ringworm, <laughs> you just want your house decontaminated. Yeah. And that's why I'm in school. <laughs> okay, two more. Would you rather the cats understood what you were saying or understand what they are meowing at you? I mean, I want to know what they're saying. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. Pretty much have an idea, but I agree. Love to hear it. I. That's really sweet that you say it that way. I want to know <laughs> what they're saying, but I don't want them to know what I'm saying. So when I'm when I'm talking bad about them behind their back, they don't know. <laughs> that's, yeah. But I can hear right. when they're calling me <laughs> names. Right. Because that's healthy. Okay, finally, the last one. This one might boil, boil your blood. Oh, boy. Would you rather have very handsy children with cats or very misinformed old people who do not take care of their cats properly? Ugh. I know, it's a hard I, one. It's a, that's a really hard, a hard one. one. I... I probably just have to go with the first one because I just already have a prejudice against kids. I'm sorry. I'm just not a kids person necessarily. I prefer to have the kids because at least maybe it's an opportunity for me to teach them. Yeah. Like something. And that's sometimes uh, people who are older than me scare me. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of times you could teach a kid and, you know, they've changed their ways. Some people are just sad. It doesn't mean you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Don't get me wrong. I just have issues with authority. Okay. But we're fine. We're fine. To recap, we're fine. <laughs> we are rocking and rolling, and we have our first category, voting up and voted. Yay. And we're our winner, Tony. <laughs> Amazing. Can we rewatch the video? Because I didn't get to see Tony. Tony, Tony, the Italian mobster. I hope you guys know every time I saw Tony <laughs> and talked to him, I go, Tony, yeah. the Italian mobster. <laughs> I do it in the text. <laughs> every time, every time. I love Tony. I know. He's such a sweet boy. He's so sweet, but sometimes he gets, uh, he... he gets... <laughs> Tony wins. <laughs> Kay is hiding her face in shame. <laughs> For shame. Okay, I want everyone to take a shot of water every time something crazy happens. Okay, with that. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, folks. <laughs> Let's move in to the next category. Hello. Benji! 
How was your day, bud? Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, first of all, some of you probably don't remember Leo, but he came injured to us from someone who had found him and took and taken him to the vet and he, his injuries just needed more than what they could they could manage and so he came to us and he was one of those like between November and January cats where we don't yeah. have a lot of kittens so he came to me and he was so sweet and wonderful. Oh, sweet. Sweet and wonderful. That Benji is spoiled rotten, and he mm -hmm. screams at me all the time, <laughs> and he's so mean to me, and he bullies me, yeah. and I love him, but why is he so mean to me? It's funny because today when I stopped by your house, he jumped Wait, up. wait, to stop by my house to pick up our outfits that I literally, it was three things I needed to remember, and this uh -huh. was one of them. Yeah. Go on. Yes, so <laughs> I, I you know, was going up to your front door, and he like jumped out of the bushes because I think he thought that I was you, and he was like already screaming, and then he saw me, and he was like, oh, no, and then like <laughs> skittered away. <laughs> he was perceived. So, yeah, and he was like that. <laughs> That's my He's like, I can't bully this one. I don't know her. <laughs> That's right. Just me. Just okay. me. Speaking of bullying, Tony. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And Dr. Barbara Bubble, you guys got to know Dr. Do Dr. Barbara Bubble pretty well. Mm -hmm. She was very sweet. And actually, if I can do a quick shout out. So last year was a very scary year for us because the vet hospital that we had been using was being bought by a new company, a new, a new vet team. Mm -hmm. And we were really nervous that they weren't going to want to work with us or they, they maybe didn't. I don't know. It was just a lot of uncertainty things. Right. And um, I'm, pr I'm happy to say that. They have taken over and they have been nothing but wonderful. Bree and Forrest are like top we tier, 10 out of 10. Love them more than life. And Bree was actually the one that found Dr. Barbara Bubble and brought her into our care. We love that. We love that. Yes. And then another one of the kitties, mm -hmm. Tony, <laughs> yes. was brought in by someone else at our vet hospital. Mm -hmm. And we all know Tony. My favorite thing about him now is... He, and I shouldn't encourage this, but it is funny when it happens. He tries to bite you mm -hmm. and he just gums and you. <laughs> and he gets really frustrated because you don't get really scared. <laughs> <laughs> and so then he just like starts bunny kicking you and oh, that hurts. Yeah. And then you're like, okay, right. okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> That's funny. That is it. Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Are we ready? Drum roll. Do we have a winner? Almost. Almost. I'm so excited that we're doing live voting I this know. year. It's a little different, so thanks for patients but in the past we've done it like online beforehand and you like I knew what was going to happen only but this time I she doesn't know no. I don't even know I don't even know if it's going to work and that's the beauty of it that's <laughs> yeah. that's totally on brand yes we love living on the edge but that was kind of the one thing that we got last year was people kind of because it's been a whole year right years are years you know they're a whole one of them it's a long time <laughs> it's a whole one quote that put that on a t-shirt a whole one of them one year <laughs> Oh, it's working, but I, I wasn't done with my story. <laughs> well, talk faster, <laughs> but now I've forgotten my story. Okay, and the winner is... <laughs> oh, Dr. Dr. Barbara, Barbara Bubble. That girl deserved it. Yeah, she did. What, what you didn't see is her being so sassy. Again, I'm bullied by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next one. Hello. Oh, yeah, we're replaying it. Leo, look at him, look at him, look at him. Dr. Ball. This is so cute. Good <laughs> bit. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I, I really did forget my story. Do you remember? Yes, you were saying a year has been a really long time. That's why we're doing it, letting you watch the video. That's and then right. Vote right now while you're refreshed. And you're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, you could also just be like me and forget what happened a minute ago. Yeah. So yeah. I need this just as bad as you do. <laughs> right. I mean, honestly, though, because like you'll see somebody and you're like, that was that was last year. Yeah. Every it year. It feels like it's been so long. Every single year. 
I don't know what's coming next. I love this. I know. It's, <laughs> it's okay. Let's watch it. Oh, spicy to nicey. Moving right along. spicy did i see yes so well apple took two seconds yeah it was it was quick there was like one and a half days hannah and then she was next. gatekeep and embezzlement took forever yeah and ever and ever yeah hannah he like he started warming up and then i gave him it was my mistake i gave them freedom to run the house mm -hmm. and then he was like oh word i can hide from her sick <laughs> that's what i'm gonna do so then i didn't see him for like days and then he just show up and, like, <laughs> and then run away yeah <laughs> and then finally he came around i it, i initially intended to keep him and montana together but mm -hmm. montana was ready to go right. and they weren't bonded so i was like okay i guess yeah. montana can go and we'll just see what's mm -hmm. happening and then embezzlement took forever and gatekeep who is still with us and adoptable by the way yeah she could be adopted as a solo cat i think she actually would prefer it she doesn't necessarily like anyone else they took so long yeah that was that whole group was like, oh my god it lasted forever it's still going yeah because we still have grand larceny girl boss and gatekeep mm -hmm. and tony who are looking for their forever homes apply now apply now <laughs> would you like a gatekeep yes are we ready for winners we're not, not ready for not winners yet. okay you know i get the spices a good bit mm -hmm. um i had some that are not necessarily in these videos but it was definitely like the year for the ones that really took a while. Took a while. Like tested your patience, needed a lot of work, and Malibu, Blaine, those guys. Those guys. But also, it was the year of us believing in ourselves, being like, oh, I can easily tame yeah. eight to nine kittens in right. one go, no problem. Yeah. And then they're here for months and months and months. Right. Gatekeep still hides from me sometimes, but when you sit on the couch, that's the safe space. Mm -hmm. She comes up and hops up on you and rubs all over you. She's so sweet. And girl boss, I can just like sling over my shoulder <laughs> and walk him everywhere. And then Grand Larceny likes to steal things like bananas and broccoli. Bananas. He, I wish, I wish I had given Kay the video. So I peeled a banana and I put the banana on the counter before I threw it away, the, the banana skin. Mm -hmm. And he comes up to it and he's like... <laughs> And just like he starts beating this banana skin, and so I'm recording it. And I'm like, "What are you doing?" And you know, sometimes after they like the cats hit it a few times, mm. they're like, "Okay, this is safe." Right. He did not get there. No. Banana was not safe. Gross. Negative safe. <laughs> Bad. Also, love that you've referred to it as banana skin like three times. <laughs> what else do you call it? Peel. Oh. <laughs> I mean, do you do you? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Hard. English is so hard, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> but the broccoli, he doesn't just like to take the broccoli, he likes to eat the broccoli. Oh, that's interesting. That is very yeah, interesting. Yeah, I feel like for cats, vegetables are usually not that enticing. No, but for him, he loves it. Interesting. I know. What a guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready? Yes. Drum we roll. Oh, I'm so excited. And the winner. Embezzlement. Aww. I mean that. I feel like that's well that's, earned. That's a very good one. That man. That man took forever, and he didn't even come around to me first. He came around to Kay. She shows up out of nowhere, and he's Great like, "All right, <laughs> fine. I guess." So. Congratulations, Yay. embezzlement. Woo! All right. What do we have next? What do we have next?
You smell so bad. So bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So it definitely looks a lot better this morning. So hello, ma'am. Yeah, I I need to introduce you. <laughs> so many heckin' screams. So many heckin' screams. I think it's fair to say Moon Pie was a ride. Yes, he was. Oh my god. He was so confused all the time. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's like that anymore in his new forever home. <laughs> he figured it out. He figured it out. But, man, I didn't know what I was getting into every time I walked in that room. But the good news is he was never aggressive. He was no. just like, he just didn't know what was what going on. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> he's like me in school every day when I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Why, how did I get in here? And then Disco Ball. She, oh God, she was so wild. Mm -hmm. She was crazy. And she was so loud. Yeah. She she just didn't want to be alone. Once I kind of put her with everyone else, she, she was cool. Yeah. Kind of the same with Aries. He was really loud to begin with. Um, shockingly, he was hungry. Oh. So he screams <laughs> when he's hungry. <laughs> and then he was all better. Everything was fine. And then, um, who else? Siren. 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 <laughs> Listen, you guys remember Siren. Siren, the kitten whose mom ate his leg. That one. I, the, the siren, the, the, coos, the poison, the poison for Cusco, the poison to kill Cusco. <laughs> Cusco's poison. No, Siren, he was so loud. Yeah. I was trying to like keep him separate from his mom because I was worried that she was going to continue, continue with her snack. <laughs> and so I was trying to feed I, <laughs> I was trying to to feed him away from her, but he wouldn't take the bottle. And then every time I took him out to feed him, he would not just scream. Like, I was afraid in the middle of the night I was going to wake up my partner. It was so loud. And then on top of that, if you guys remember last year, last Screamies, we had Mama Marvel and all of her toasts and oh, Sammy. Yeah. They were in there, and Mama Marvel was like, what are you doing to my extra adopted <laughs> child? And so she'd get all upset, and I was like, I can't do this. So he ended up going back with his mom, and thankfully she was not hungry anymore. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but <laughs> that was that was another wild <laughs> ride. Are we ready? We're almost ready. One more second. One more second. Get your votes in. Get your votes in, and don't forget, guys. This is our annual fundraiser. We are. Raising funds for Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue. We have a really big goal this year. Mm -hmm. And um, I really hope you're enjoying the live stream. I hope this is fun. I'm having a great time. Yes. It's always fun. Even with all the chaos. Yes. And we have so, so many things to come. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. A lot of stuff. And the winner is... Siren. Siren. That is actually kind of shocking. Really? I kind of thought Moon Pie was going to win. Okay. That's fair. And I would have voted for Siren. I would have as well. But... <laughs> Moon Pie, like he he does he did have a few that were loud. That's but true. I'm shocked. Way to go, Siren. Congratulations, Siren. I think now we are gonna deviate from our award show and we are gonna do some side thing. Are we? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> In one second. <laughs> we're working on it. <laughs> we had a schedule. It, I mean, it is gone. We, we tried. <laughs> We're live, laugh, love in here. Yeah. I wish I, I still wish I could see the chat. I, know. I hope you guys are having fun. I know. I hope you're gently roasting me in the comments and being so kind to Bethany. <laughs> it's not her fault. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm the reason everything's falling apart. <laughs> it's no one else but me. <sighs> also, I don't know if you noticed this, but these are cut. They yes. were overalls this morning. Right. They were overalls. That was the plan. That was the plan. We love overalls. We, and we love tie-dye. We love tie-dye. But the thing is, we didn't try them on until today. Right. And they did not fit. No. <laughs> so not we, this part of us. So. so we had to give them a little trim. Yes. <laughs> All right. We are taking, we are going to take a little commercial break. Enjoy.
You know all the hit songs of today. Songs that tug at your heartstrings and just make you want to dance. Well, get ready for something worse. Introducing Meow That's What I Call Music, Volume 1. Smash hits that will ruin some of your favorite songs, like Time Out Toaster. Cause you had a bad day, your mom bit your leg, and now that you're stuck in a Time Out Toaster, there is a crazy girl, she puts a tube in my face, and makes me eat for me love, and I scream the whole time. Cause you had a bad day. Tiny girl. A tiny girl with little feet. She's just a tiny girl. A little girl. Small and very tiny. A tiny girl with the empty head. Homicide in those eyes. If we were a camera, we'd need to focus. And the kitties in the background, huddling in the corner for dear life, they're not laughing. They're actually very mad, look at that face. I see homicide in those eyes. We're almost originals that are sure to shake things up, like Spider Beach. Spider Beach, not for you. Why is it always Spider Beach? And if that's not your jam, maybe songs that have or will traumatize generations to come, like Hi. Hey, it's been a while since you've seen my face. Kitten season's trying to ruin me, and I forgot to post. Don't worry, I'm doing okay. Might not be thriving, barely surviving. But at least they're having fun. Yeah, good mornings for who? Going down to kitten season now. I'm down to my husband's brain cell, running on empty kitten season now. You can't take any more than surprise you're at your door. you to eat your glorified cat tree you're questioning your past filling in all the gaps and wonder how you got here but hey at least they're having fun or karma i'm a weird girl I do some weird things to make money for my nonprofit. I'm a weird girl. Order now as supplies are limited, and you too can sing along to some of the worst covers dedicated to kittens the world has ever known. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at chaos screen. <laughs> She's dying. But <laughs> that was something we put together literally today. I love that. Yeah. It, I think you're welcome is the right thing to say. You're and welcome. You're that. welcome. <laughs> One of our wonderful, yes, amazing people who are helping us with the tech side, Kenzie, put together that album cover in an hour amazing. ish. So good. And like, phenomenal. There will not be an album. I am so sorry. I don't think I have time. I know you're disappointed. You probably had your checkbook ready. I know. However you ordered those. You were ready for tickets. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You know when, like, the thing yeah. came on. You have to call in. Probably. Yeah, you could call in. Call in. You know, are you ready for the world tour? It's not going to happen. I'm so sorry. Maybe next But year. maybe over the summer, if I have time, I'll write you guys an album. <laughs> I also was updated that we are at 7000 Five hundred and eighteen dollars for our, for our our uh. Ooh, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> for, for our Miss fundraiser for, for Miss Dixie, yes. And uh, yeah. One of the things that we are doing this year that I'm really really excited about. If you guys remember last year, we did a portion of our proceeds. We donated them to another organization. And last year, that was Binx's Home for Black Cats. And this year, I thought to myself, let's, why not? Let's do more. Let's make it bigger and better than ever. So if you're going to be supporting us, you're also going to be supporting 
some of the other organizations. Now, did I ask for their logos and a backstory ahead of time? Absolutely. Yes. Did I also go to school and run out of time to do things? Also, yes. So I'm going to verbally tell you, everyone who we are supporting, and we hope that you support us so we can support them, or if you want to go support them, we support that as well. Of course, the first one is going to be Binx's Home for Black Cats. You guys know them. They are in Asheville, North, North Carolina, and they rescue black cats, and they're one of our dear friends, and have been a huge help yeah. for us and we love and support them so much the next one is going to be one that maybe you've heard of before um you've heard maybe we talk about them before but have been monumental for the things that we do and that is going to be imagine home mm-hmm. they actually today right now, right now at this moment in time there is a mom and four kittens arriving at my house from imagine homes transport they came down from ohio to hear mom is FIV positive. The kittens were also tested FIV positive. They are at risk for euthanasia and they are because of Imagine Home. They are hopefully safely in my garage here any moment (laughs) for us to go home and then snuggle them. So Imagine Home will be our second one. Our third one that we will be supporting this year is our new partner up north in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know, we now do adoptions up in Connecticut and the Northeast area, and that's simply because of Happily Forever Happily Forever After Rescue in Connecticut. They have been monumental. They are a small foster-based organization up there. And when I called her and said, hey, guess what? Uh, We are struggling and could definitely use some help. She was like, word, I got you. And she has been nothing but phenomenal ever since. Immediately. Immediately. And she's been amazing for everything. The other ones that we will be doing, um, Tabby Tails Rescue, Tabby Tails Cat Rescue in Ohio. They are, we're at 8,238. Thank you, everyone. I love and appreciate all of you. They are in Ohio. They are a sanctuary for, as you can imagine, cats. (laughs) Can you imagine cats? (laughs) They they rescue a lot of black cats, tabby cats, cats that are more um, on a, unadoptable or less desirable and i love all the work that they do and we will love to support them and then finally will be the black thornberry i hope she does not mind that i can't <laughs> say it that way but every time i say her name i say the black thornberry um who is up in philadelphia i believe mm-hmm. i'm sorry if i got that wrong but i'm remembering in my brain and i apologize but they are also she's a small organization up up there and she does amend, immense and amazing incredible work and it's inspiring for me to see and I just I would love to help support her and her work yeah and so yeah if you help us you help them the babies oh, have yay. arrived That's amazing so happy I wish we had a picture of them but I ran out of time <laughs> all right and with that thank you guys so much Remember, it's still a donation, so keep them coming if you can. Let's roll, if we're ready, to the next category. Hit them. We cannot see anything on our screen if that is helpful in any capacity. Counting. At least they're having fun. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Good mornings for who? <laughs> that is ironic. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. What? I'm 
so sorry if you heard that. <laughs> I forgot we were live. <laughs> we're professionals. <laughs> Did you have the audio fixed by then? <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> the most dramatic comeback. Us. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Category's over. <laughs> no, don't. Don't say it on me. <laughs> okay. Well, let's talk about the comebacks. Um, of the kittens. Yeah. I have not come back right. yet. <laughs> so, first up was Arson. Very dramatic comeback of the year. He was our first burn victim kitty. Um, you saw he was extra crispy and then turned into a beautiful fuzzy boy. So, yeah, fuzzy boy. Great transformation. That one rocked the internet, I do recall. Oh my gosh, it you, did. You were either team arson or team they are crazy. Yeah. And you're not wrong. You're either not. way. <laughs> <laughs> you want strong feelings. Yeah. I would like to offer my reasoning behind the arson. Because I remember I dropped arson off at your house. Mm -hmm. And as I was driving back... I texted her, yeah. and I was like, Arson. That's his name. Mm -hmm. And she was like, yes. Love it. Arson. And the only reason that I could justify calling him Arson is because it was an accident. Right. It was it, not intentional. It was not intentional. It was a total accident. It was not malicious. If it was malicious, then we would have had a different name, mm -hmm. like Phoenix. Yeah. That's what everybody wanted. So. That is, so, we're sorry. Next was Figaro. Figaro. Oh, he was so sick for so long. Oh, my God. And I just I just remember I was like, okay, great. Like, we started to get him healthy. Like, we're, get, we're getting going. And then he was just, like, slowly progressing. And I was like, what is going on? That was one of the things that's, like, it's so important if you – run a nonprofit or you're in a, if you're a foster or whatever, to have a really good relationship with either your vet mm -hmm. or your foster coordinator. So you can work very closely because I texted our vet and I said, Hey, he's just going really slow. Like, is there anything else we can do? So she was like, well, it's probably not only bacterial, it's probably viral. So we started him on something else and then giving him lots of supportive care. And it was weeks. Yeah. And I felt so bad the whole time because all he wanted to do was be someone's friend. Right. I know. <laughs> I couldn't let him meet anyone. Because it was just not, it was not good. <laughs> and then we had Miley. Yeah. Miley, also, she was delivered <laughs> to an organization <laughs> near us and sent me a picture of this really sick kitten and brought her to us. And I sent her to Foster and the Foster texted me within a few hours and was like, hey, she's not doing that great. And then we sent her to the ER vet and she was at the ER vet for three days trying to get her healthy. And every day the vet would call me and say, I don't know, man, I think she's getting a little better, but not a lot better. And I was like, keep fighting, keep fighting. And then she made it. And then she made it. Yay. And then Montana, Montana Banana. Mm -hmm. He he was a miracle, honestly. I didn't think yeah. he was going to make it. His, his sweet brother did not make the night. But Montana, I was like, you are one or the other. Mm -hmm. And he rallied. Yeah. He super rallied. And that. it was awesome. And I think I've got word that we are, you guys, is running smooth. Yay. Not going to win. <laughs> we got it. The winner is arson. arson. I mean, I can't say I disagree. Yeah, no, for sure. That, that was. It was. It just looked like a crispy little rag I muffin. I know. And his, like, his paw pads were all blistered. And, and now his, like, nose is I know. like, a yeah, little, like, he's, this. He's got a funny nose. It's so And cute. funny ears. Yeah, they're round. He's a, he got adopted with his buddy Jonas. Yes. And they're together forever. We love that. We love that. Are we ready to rock and roll? Next category. You smell so bad. So bad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, they were so close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all of your burns. That's amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so much being 
my god that's a lot of crust <laughs> that's a lot of crust i mean where do we start let's start at the most obvious crust and that's gonna be our unwanted disasters and it's not because they were unwanted it's because what they brought was unwanted and right. that was vertigo turbulence and hydroplane all unwanted surprise mm -hmm. surprises 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 when I tell you that Hydro was the most crustiest kitten I've ever seen, I am not kidding. Usually we get them in with ringworm, like a spot, and we're like, huh. Right. And then like the next day, they'll kind of be naked, like bald in one spot. <laughs> she was crusty from head Humber. to toe. And and they were just, they were some kittens that someone found on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. And and they we took them on. And I was like, oh, no problem. Like I can send them to a different foster. And I got them in and I was like, and I had to <laughs> empty my house <laughs> to yeah. send all the kittens to a different foster <laughs> and bring them in and start them all on ringworm treatment. And then Aries was, if you guys remember the video, I'm like, you got heck and chance, you got heck and chance, you're pooping everywhere, you're tired. <laughs> Aries was pooping everywhere and he was so crusty in his face, on his derriere. And thankfully he figured it out. Obviously he was... He had some other things that occurred that we'll go over later, but um, other than that, he was he was great. Mm -hmm. Foxy, 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 moment of silence. She was so crusty from beginning until end. There was always something on her. My fav one of my favorite videos is she's laying in her bed. Montana and Hannah are with her, and they're just like cleaning up her crust <laughs> from all of her tendons, <laughs> all of her things. That was like one of my favorite things. And then the final one was, I've already forgotten. Aries. I'm forgetting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, God. It's all coming back to me now. <laughs> 21st century disasters, capitalism, economy, housing market, and interest rates. They were crusty from the moment we got them. And then they couldn't figure out how to eat. They didn't, they didn't understand bowls. Like, I tried to put their food in a bowl. And they just kept biting the side of the bowl. So I had to put their food on the pee pad. And then they would eat it, but then they would just like shove their face into it. So then it would just spread everywhere and on their face and on their body. And then they'd get just enough in that was kind of a meal. And then I'd have to clean everything and give them all baths. Like with those guys, I swear I was giving a bath every a lot of work. day, twice a day. Mm -hmm. They were so crusty. And they're, they would... I cleaned their whole pen, and then by nighttime, the whole thing. But they, it wasn't just crust. They would, like, pee over there and pee over there and then poop over there. Like, ugh. Oh, my God. They were wild. Guys, I am happy to announce that we are ready. <laughs> yes. And the winner is... Foxy. Foxy. Oh, my sweet girl. I mean, she definitely was she the wins. crustiest. She was the crustiest. She was the best girl. I know. I'm going to cry. I'm going to throw up and I'm going to cry. <laughs> We're at 10,243. Oh That's awesome. Thank you guys wow. so much. We are so appreciative. And don't worry, if you are already a monthly donor for Mystics' Kitten Rescue, we will be moving you guys over to the third annual Streamies mm -hmm. um, fundraiser. So that way you guys are entered for the prizes and you get all of the like back in stuff which yeah. will we have some cool little trading cards yeah. that'll be screaming exclusives yes which will be super fun so excited for you guys to see them they yeah. are awesome you will have to tune into my instagram after this and i will post the um screenshots all right all right are we you ready ready We're ready next one <laughs> the other day my team came out and helped me unbox about half of the packages and oh my gosh we have so much food these shelves were empty before you guys and now they're full <laughs> <laughs> I felt it was really important this year to have 
I think a, a lot of the things you don't, guys, you don't see on the back end is me panicking to be an adult <laughs> and try to keep everything afloat and make sure my foster has have the things that they need, that we have the money and the funds to take care of the medical cases so no one ever has to go without for anything. And I remember posting the Montana. So the Montana video was really big because we posted that. And in the caption, I just said, you know, we're running low on wet food. And within 48 hours, not only was my entire garage filled with wet food that we are still going through to yeah. this day, we had dry food that we were able to give out to the colonies. You guys raised over like $30,000 in those two days. And it helped us not only save more kittens, but we were able to do a bunch of TNR. Yeah. And it like, listen, I don't want to get too emotional yet, <laughs> but... Where we're at, we don't have a lot of support for TNR. We don't have a lot of support for kitten care and whatnot. I mean, our vet is amazing. Don't get me wrong. They are phenomenal, and I trust them with my life. But TNR and and some of the resources that you see maybe other colonies and other people on the Internet have, we just don't have, and, and we're working to create. I mean, right. that's kind of our mission. That's what we're doing. And so it – would we get that type of support from strangers, which, I mean, you guys aren't really strangers. <laughs> I kind of let you into everything. Um, it, it's impactful. I don't know. I don't, I don't yeah. know. I just, it's, I just, I'm shocked every time. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that one was the 26 kitties. I mean, I was in vet school. Things, I, I was, I quit. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. <No>. Surprise. I'm leaving. <laughs> so <loud to> you. <laughs> I'm moving to Mexico. I'm never coming back. No. Um. I'm in vet school and last semester was really tough. And another thing you guys don't see on the back end is I am like hustling and bustling to get kitties adopted. Mm -hmm. And it was just not able to happen because of Esqualia school <laughs> <laughs> going to Mexico. Um, I'm so, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but I, I hadn't, I hadn't had that opportunity. So I made that TikTok post and that Instagram post and you guys shared it so much that we ended up having almost 30 kittens and older cats adopted some more local some on the way up yeah. the east coast and then some all the way up the east coast mm -hmm. and bethany and i drove 15 hours there it was and back. there and back it was a lot yeah it was a lot drove into the night yeah came very close a little delirious we there was fine. a lot of sharing <laughs> There was a lot of sharing. We learned a lot about each other. We sure did. It was fun. Though. And it was so fun mm -hmm. because when we, I remember we got in really late. It was like yeah. nine o'clock. We got in and there was just like this line of people in this dark I parking know. lot <laughs> with this like, white van <laughs> pulling up. Not suspicious at all. Hop in, kids. <laughs> and just like handed out kitties yeah. and, and everyone went their way. And that was amazing. Yeah, it was. And then the other one was uh, Tatuba and Piwocket. Mm -hmm. They, Piwocket was adopted from us almost a year or so ago, and Tatuba was his bonded sister at their family. And between the two of them, their their family was no longer able to take care of them. And whenever that happens, I always have them reach back out to us, and we take them back and then find them new homes. And in this case, she was like, I understand if you can't take his sister. And I was like, no, we're going to take the sister. Bring them to me. Mm -hmm. So the sister, we had brought her in. We got her spayed, and then we were trying to find their forever home. And so made another video you guys shared it. We found the most perfect forever home for them. And Kay and I flew them out to, um, I was going to say your mom's house, but it's Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm 31. Do we have a winner? <laughs> we have a winner. Oh, <laughs> Montana Bonanza. Oh, that one. I mean, That's a really good one. That one was very life-changing yeah. for our rescue yeah it was and it's just it's incredible like just how generous everybody is like it really is just it's, it's insane yeah oh my god and we really do still have piles of food in her garage that we're using i just stop by and yeah bethany has access to my, my house and she's like hey i'm so i'm <laughs> yeah. to pick up food i'm like word it's like a little pet store it's, it's like a little pet store and we always whenever we have extras we give it to the mm -hmm. colonies who need it and yeah. all of our fosters always they never yeah. go without yeah it's great it's wonderful. Moving on to our next category thing. It's not a category. We're doing a thing. Segment. <laughs> We're doing a segment. 
It's going to be me, so Bethany can take a little break if you would like. Okay. What if my weird strangers on the internet sent me something? It's kind of embarrassing, uh, but I guess we're going to go through it. So welcome to q and I'll give the A's. Someone has the Q's. You guys might know her. She's a little wonky. You probably love to know that our friendship started because I got Pan Luke and um, she called me that night and we talked for like an hour and a half about Pan Luke, about life. And I was like, who is this crazy girl? <laughs> and why do I like her so much? <laughs> and I see so many times you guys tagging me in her videos and she's tag you guys are tagging her in my videos. And I think that's what I said the first time, but whatever, you know what I mean, vice versa. And uh, yeah, a friendship blossomed. And so without further ado, we have a little cameo from Megan. <laughs> All right, I'm here to ask Mary some questions about rescue. And Uh-Oh and SpaghettiO have some questions too. First of all, I know. We're here to get the answers. Uh-oh. Spaghetti-o. So one question I have for you is, is there some kind of ailment that you are not comfortable with? Or what scares you? What makes you uncertain? And how do you regain that balance and certainty without certainty? I didn't hear the question. <laughs> you didn't hear any of it? I didn't hear any of it. I can't hear. <laughs> we need subbies. Sorry, guys. Did I tell you what it was? No. Okay. All right. I'm here to ask Mary some questions about rescue. And Uh Oh and SpaghettiO have some questions too. First of all, I know we're here to get the answers. Uh Oh. Getting old. So one question I have for you is, is there some kind of ailment that you are not comfortable with or what scares you? What makes you uncertain? And how do you regain that balance and certainty without certainty? To... Okay, that's a great question. I'd love to answer that for you. So here's the thing about rescue and diving headfirst into things is, first of all, if you guys don't know, this is Megan, Megan and the Rescues. Um, oh, she's over here. She's over here. She's over here. This is Megan, Megan and the Rescues. She's become one of my dearest friends in the whole world. And I asked her to do this and she did it for me in, in like a day. She's wonderful. But the thing about rescue is uh, you don't know anything going into it, okay? You think you're just, you're like, we're going to rescue animals, and that is what it is, right? Um, but it's more than that. So every year, and I do this to myself, every year I think to myself, oh, we haven't had that yet. That year, slapped with it. One year it was ringworm. One year it was ringworm, pan luke, FELV, FIV. We get hit with something different every year. And I think the important part is nothing scares me more than pan leukopenia. Don't get me wrong. But... I think having a research mind, my reaction to panic is to research and understand. So once I know what's going on, I research and understand, I get a plan together and then move forward with it and adjust as needed. So nothing really totally scares me except Pan Luke and maybe um, sometimes public speaking, but it's okay. Uh, you just figure it out. Sustain things when you encounter that. I also want to know, what inspired you specifically to become a vet yourself? What is your goal for your future role in rescue? And where do you see this uh, progressing and advancing to? Great question. I do it for the memes. Going on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things is uh, when I get comments about, like, take them to a vet, I one day I want to be like, I am the vet. I am a surgeon. I am the vet. No, but I want to be a vet for many reasons. One is I want to 
be able to be that cat community care vet for my area. I want to be able to help the feral cats. I want to be able to help the owned cats and the kittens. I want that to be like everything that I focus on and am able to do. And that just doesn't exist where we're at. And we have a lot of awesome vets in our area and organizations who are helping in a general sense, but I want to be very specific in helping cats so if you find a feral cat on the side of the road that has a broken leg and you don't know what to do with it, you can bring them to me and we'll take care of it, whatever that means. If that means we can rehabilitate and adopt them out, that's great. If that means, you know, we they don't at least don't have to suffer alone, then that's what we're going to do. And my ultimate big girl plan, bear with me, is to have our own clinic, our own adoption center. And that's really what all of this is working towards. So it's baby steps to a bigger goal in the future. Speaking of, where are we at in terms of the fundraiser? You can press play, it's okay, we can move on. Hey, moving right along. <laughs> now, what we're all dying to know is what medication are you on? What keeps your sanity? Is there any left? How do you find the serotonin amidst the panic? How do you wake up each morning to start a good morning? I also would like to know. Um, every day I start panic. I think <laughs> the only thing that keeps me motivated is honestly, not to get cheesy and weird, don't make it weird is all of the friendships that I've built and the people that every day I know I can reach out to. I can reach out to Bethany and be like, ah, and she'll be like, ah, and at least I know I'm not alone. Or I can text Kay and, and everything's good. Or I can reach out to Megan or I can, you know, I think what keeps me going is community. Um, I think something that's very easy to do in rescue is feel like you're alone and that you're the only one that can do things right and it's all on your shoulders and that's a really scary dark place to be and I like to be reminded that I'm not alone I have a wonderful community you know I've got my team I've got Bethany and Val who Bethany is my co-director Val's our TNR coordinator I have all of our volunteers I have my partner I have my friends who are in rescue I have our vet like I think if I could give any advice to someone who wants to do rescue or is in rescue just don't think you need to be alone and don't isolate yourself it's a hard job it's really not for the faint of heart, and you can't do it alone. There's absolutely no way you can do it alone. You need people to rely on and lean on, even if they're far away, that you can just call them up and say, I need to talk, like I do Megan every day. <laughs> and you're not alone. What is the most unexpected thing that you have got? gotten out of rescue or found was involved in rescue that you did not see coming. <laughs> Thank you for the pause. It's beautiful. Um, friendship, which goes back to what I was saying before, <laughs> is um, I didn't expect to make so many friends and so many connections because I think I started with the mindset of only I can do this right. I know everything. And then I realized I know nothing and I'm lost without my people. So I think that's the most unexpected thing I've, I've done, which has been great. And on a scale of uh-oh to SpaghettiO, how much do you regret this decision? I Every day. Next question. I also would like to know if I get an honorary screamy. I would like one. And lastly, I know rescue takes a whole lot out of a lot of us, all of us. But what do you get back that keeps you going? Is it? <laughs> um, uh, Megan, you can have whatever screamy you want. I promise. I will we'll send you a screamy package just for you. And um what keeps me going again? The friendships and the vibes, but also the kittens. I mean ki kittens. What <laughs> Okay, like I get to snuggle cats every night. I have a house full of cats. I come home and there's cats and that's all I ever wanted in my life 
One time, my parents told me, Mary, when you have your own house, you can do whatever you want, have as many animals as you want. And I said, bet. And my house is full of them now. And that's what I get out of it. Ringworm? Is it the pink perm? Yes. It's okay. You can put it right on my face. It's fine. And thank you for doing that. I greatly appreciate you and friendship and all. And we have surpassed $11,000 for the screamies. We are rocking and rolling. And I also appreciate you. I think one of the other answers I probably should say, because it's also true, is um, community. I somehow have all of you guys out there who are tuning in right now, who donate, who comment, who are part of our channel or in any capacity, you're here and uh we couldn't do this without you truly literally literally yeah. and also i love um the light roasting you guys always do uh for me because <laughs> sometimes i need to be knocked down a level i deserve it <laughs> needs it a little bit, Just I do. A little bit. <laughs> did you feel that you had any different answers about like why you do rescue no i mean i think everything you said i definitely would echo and i think you know that question about feeling like you don't have to do it alone and that there's not a community out there. Like, it's just so cool to connect with people who feel as passionately as mm -hmm. you do. Like, it's amazing because sometimes when you first start, you're like, I'm alone. <laughs> no one else cares as much as I do. And then you find I'm your friends, alone. your people. Yeah, so it's great. It's a, it's a great time. Um, I something's think happening. Something's happening. And I think we're ready to... It's bait. Guys, look, it's Kay. Hi, Kay. Everyone say. We love Kay. Oh, oh are you giving oh, me kittens? kittens? Wow. Thank that's you so much. Best. He's going to run away. Oh. You guys know that this is this is our little girl. So she's they've got a little bit of a sniffle right now. They started out with eye sniffles, and now they have um, no sniffles, as they do with kittens. How gross. Every time I see crust on a kitten, I think ringworm, but I think we're okay. It's fine. It's Everything's fine. We're not fine. scarred. Yeah, I, oh. I got out the black light the other day um, because the Cheerio had a spot on her neck. No. But it, it was not a brain room. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys you. doing tight. You guys doing tight. What are, are we? Are we setting up for? Are we doing another category? We're ready for another category? All right. Ready for another category. Let me clean your nose. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just being a mom. <laughs> just momming. Just momming. I mean, who wouldn't want this life? I love this life. Mm -hmm. I think I like this little life. <laughs> We're ready. Let's do it. The other day my team came out and helped me unbox about half of the packages and oh my gosh we have I really so meant much you guys food. filled up my garage. It's okay, I forgive you. Before I can see this many times. Now they're full. It's all good here folks. We're having we're having we're having a great time. <laughs> Mostly it's from the magazine. It's good mornings. Hello buddy. Yes. So cute. Hi, boys. Hi, boss. Oh, you guys are such good babies. Okay, when I tell you. That girl boss is literally the least problematic cat I've ever had. <laughs> so if you guys don't, you guys, if you have been following at all, you know that girl boss and uh, Grand Larceny did get adopted like a week or two ago, and then they immediately got returned. What had happened is they got integrated a little bit too fast, and 
what we heard was potentially that Girl Boss was starting fights with the cats that's already there. And I know that that can't be true because Girl Boss has never picked a fight in his whole entire life. No. He has always picked on. He never <laughs> has picked a fight. So um, he's just, he's so sweet and he's just wonderful. And whoever gets to adopt him is going to be one of the most luckiest people ever. Yes. Next is Montana. Although he did start out very problematic, I will say. <laughs> Um, he ended up being way less problematic because after he got healthy, he was like, I'm good, dog. I'm sweet. I'm healthy. I'm good to go. And and we love that for him. And then finally, Copper. Copper came in at a time when I was obviously very busy. Shocker. Different yeah. than normal. <laughs> and he was just so easy. I mean, he did have the eye thing, but that was so easy to fix. And then he was just he was just there, and he was just good. He was friends with everyone. He loved everyone. Yeah. He was Foxy's buddy, and he was just, yeah, he was just so, so good. They, I felt like this year, you know, it's important to have chaos, but it's also important to have the calm in the chaos. Mm -hmm. And I just love them, especially Girl Boss. He's like, I literally could just sling that boy over my shoulder, <laughs> and he screams at me to be picked up now. I, I love him so, so much. You can see yes. that they don't even love me. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes me. It's okay. I, don't know I raised you. <laughs> I didn't raise them. Careful, pencil bites hard. Which one is that? Curly oh. tail. Oh, curly tail. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> we have oh, we Sharpie entering the chat. Oh. Come here, Sharpie. Where, where, where? There we go. Kitty for everybody. Yay! Kitties for all. Are we ready? Do we have a winner? Right. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who is it? Girl Boss! Girl Boss! <laughs> I love Girl Boss. Such a oh, Truly, whoever ends up adopting Girl Boss eventually is going to be so, so incredibly lucky. Yeah. And to keep things on kind of a lower note, um, this year, although it was a lot of awesome, there were some uh, not aw excuse me. There were definitely some not awesome times. And get your tissues, get your sadness out because gesundheit. There were things this year, as you know, we've lost a few kittens, and we wouldn't be complete without being able to at least honor them and all of the time, whether it be short or long, they spent with us. We ready for that one? Are we ready? We're ready for sadness. Are we ready? I'm sad. Let's be sad. My emotional support group. talk about it so first dory you remember you may not remember but i was driving in my neighborhood and it was downpouring i quit why <laughs> <laughs> i feed I you one. alert escape um, <laughs> i was driving in my neighborhood it was pouring rain and i looked over to my right and i saw this cat face down in the rain and so i went over I knocked on the door. No one was home. I didn't know what else to do because clearly this cat needed help. And so I picked her up and brought her straight to the vet. And she was 
covered in mats. She was so skinny. And we got her, we had services donated to get her groomed mm-hmm. and all cleaned up. We got her to a foster and we started to try to get her healthy. And she just, she never recovered. And she always had this limp. And so we brought her back to the vet to see what was going on. And it turned out she had bone cancer. And so we brought her home. We let her have a few days of whatever she wanted. And then we said goodbye to her. The next one was Maddie and Marvin. They came to us. They were a litter of six. And they all got sick. And then slowly each kitten passed. And they left with two. We got Maddie and Marvin and... Their bladders were full descended. They had urinary tract infections that were so bad that they couldn't pee. And so we we tried our best to get them healthy. And initially, poor uh, Marvin, he just was not doing well. And I will always fight for a kitten as long as they're fighting too. But he had given up. So we made the call to go ahead and let him go. And then Maddie Maddie definitely rallied for a few weeks. She, She got... What I thought was better, she was always a bit wonky, but we love the wonky ones around here. And then one day she just kind of collapsed and on our way to the ER vet, she she didn't make it. And so that was that was her. Next is Skipper. You want to talk about Skipper? Um, so Skipper was one that I had at my house that I was fostering. He was one of our FELV group. Um, and he was doing great for a while and then he kind of had this like cold that wasn't treatable wasn't going away um and he was just he was the sweetest boy he um was just this cat that just loved to be in your lap and he would like stare into your eyes and he was just he was so lovable um he was my little skippy boy but he um the FELV just kind of got him um and so we had to say goodbye a little bit unexpectedly we were yeah. kind of hoping that he had more time, um, but it was clear that he just didn't want him to suffer. So. Yeah. Yeah, we – FELV is though – it does not scare us in terms of if a cat has it, right. that we won't take them. But it can if – it, if it's taken off, if it's actually infecting them, it can kind of take them down fast. Right. And as much as we would have loved to find him a forever yeah. home, he actually got a really, really good home yeah, for the having him. short time he was with us. Yeah. And then finally – the one that wrecked me, our foxy girl. I, I've i posted many videos about her on YouTube, and you guys know my feelings and thoughts on that. Um, yeah, I was really sad, very sad. I I do think that she would we would have kept her. Um, it would have been a lot of cats, but I think we would have figured it out. But um, she left before we had that opportunity, so, yeah, that was... That was our foxy girl. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if we have more categories. We do. And then we'll do, guys, we have kitten races, which will be a category in themselves. Don't worry. I'll explain when we get there. But to lighten the mood, let's move right along. (laughs) Let's go. (laughs) We're so happy. (laughs) We're mentally well. You just... Oh, okay. You take them no. and you shove them down. <laughs> well, you don't know. Oh, he is missing a leg. He's missing a leg? Look at that. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> so many good ones. So many good ones. I just, I, in Siren's video, I had the nails from Screamies last year. So that's, Siren was last year at the Screamies. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, all of those were great. The 13 kittens on a Monday is what we called that. That was actually Skipper's <laughs> Colony. Yeah. And we showed up and we were like, we can't take any kittens. Right. And we left with 13. We did. And like, <laughs> we literally took six of them to the shelter. I dropped them off because we were going to TNR them because yeah. that was our plan because we did not have space. And then we made space. And then we got them back from the shelter before they were TNR'd. So, yeah, we, we took all 13. We took all 13. And those were the kitties that ended up being, some of them being FBLV right. positive. Yeah. And uh, some all the other ones got adopted. Yeah. And even the FBLV positive ones got adopted, yeah. except Skipper, who got to and live. Chamomile. We got to oh, and Chamomile. They all spent their lives yeah. with Bethany. Yeah. And then Dory. That was a quick one, though. Just showed up and left. You guys may have been surprised to see Obi, but Obi was technically last year he came inside. Yeah. He his uh taming story did not happen last year, but he came inside last year and a little about a year ago he got adopted. Yeah. So it's been a year without Obi, but he's been living his best life mm -hmm. ever since. And yeah. then Rocket and Moon. Um their colony was challenging yeah yeah Very. they i'm happy to report that all the kitties that we were able to get out of there have been adopted mm -hmm. and are living their best lives and we're so happy for that yes um it was just really kind of sad mm -hmm. to see that yeah and i think the one that we did forget is trash mountain oh yeah because trash mountain was Trash Mountain. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> that was another one. We showed up and we were like, we can absolutely take no mm -hmm. kittens. And I left with six. Yep. Who were all sick. <laughs> they were all, they were, here's the thing. If I show up in a colony and the kittens are healthy. Right. There's a high likelihood that we are going to um, just get them TNR if we don't have space. But if they're sick, I can't leave them I there know. because they only have one option. And I don't like that option. Mm -hmm. So we made it work. Sometimes, okay, Megan, here's my one regret. Sometimes I do regret my impulsivity, but I never regret people living, like kittens getting being able to be rescued and living their best life. No. Good try. <laughs> the trash mountain, man. The gift yeah. that keeps on. <laughs> Alert. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was, it's still the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah. We have to go back again. <laughs> yeah and rescue them but that was like that was um oh my gosh grand larceny girl boss gatekeep gaslight grand larceny bribery fraud ponzi scheme i can't name I them can't help i you. literally <laughs> have to think of their picture in my head and then say their name but then i get them mixed up with other ones cuz there's so many i have adhd ooh someone tweeted that was you. pencil <laughs> Pencil. Okay. Are we ready for the winners? We're not, not ready yet. for the winners. Oh my god. And then there's you guys. I don't know if you guys know these their story, but they just came from a random colony that we're gonna start TNRing with. Mm -hmm. Which I'm very excited about. Yeah. Because I have not been able to get into TNR and as school kinda comes to a close this year, we're gonna be able to do a lot of fun things this summer. Yeah. I'm so excited. I know I've said this a lot on like live streams and in videos where I'm like, I'm sorry I disappeared, but <laughs> school's been a lot. It's been it's been very busy, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I've kind of been holding on by a string. Thank you so much. Been holding on by a string, but the summer's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a lot of things that we mm -hmm. want to do and are gonna do, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a great time. Where are we going? Look at look at it. Do you want to save lives? <laughs> save, save a pencil. Don't bite me. Stop it. <laughs> you are so naughty. <laughs> she said, he will be up for adoption very soon. Look at this boy. I think I like this little pencil. So the next thing, while, while they are still working on the um, winners for this one, we are going to have kitten races. So we have an entire little race. I say that like it's a whole course. It's <laughs> we put it together, and it's very fancy for what we do. <laughs> we are going to race the little kittens. I don't know if it's going to go great, we'll but we're going to give it a shot. It's going to be fun. And we are ready for this winner. 
Drum roll, please. Trash Mountain! Yeah, that's, uh, that was quite the rescue story. It's a gift that kept on giving. Yeah. Two weeks to catch Gatekeep. All the other kittens were out of quarantine by the time that she was done. And then she hated me. Relatable, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yep, been there. <laughs> been there, done that. Are we ready to move on to the next category? Let us let us leave. Oh no. Go back. We have to have professional kitten wranglers on staff. <laughs> We got him. Got up. I think we forgot to mention and from Jungle Jim's colony, that was the colony of the sandbox. Oh, yes. The legendary sandbox of the cats are pooping in my sandbox, but I won't put a lid on my sandbox, right. so the cats keep pooping in my sandbox. <laughs> it was a whole drama. Yeah, it's and actually, that was right before the screenies last year, too. Oh, my God. Too. It, literally, yeah, that was during was. the screenies. Yeah, it was like, you, hey, me. We were dealing yeah. with that <laughs> on set. <laughs> How dare you, first of all. Embarrassing me in front of everyone. <laughs> Figaro, I feel like, is a good, clear chaos. I mean, that man mm -hmm. never stopped, slowed down. No. Nothing. <laughs> 11,833! We are working our way up. Thank you guys so much. Mm -hmm. um, Moon Pie, obviously, <laughs> that man was chaos. Like, you wouldn't believe. We had Apple. Apple? Apple, Apple, Apple was. Apple? She was crazy. But, like, in a really fun way. Like, you saw her fighting with herself in the mirror. She, like, Halloween cat fought with everybody. Just just wild. Just just being just her chaos. best self. Yeah. And then there was Mandy, who spent <laughs> half of her time with me mm -hmm. and half of her time with her. Yeah. Mandy had what we call vestibular ataxia, vestibular disease, meaning she basically had an ear infection that made her all wobbly. Mm -hmm. And then once we got her on some antibiotics, yeah. she became... Normal balancey chaos instead of just the chaos yeah. <laughs> that was unbalanced. Right. And yeah, those guys are they're crazy. Yeah, they're crazy. They're so crazy. It's uh it, it's always fun to have one of them in the house though because everything is is wild. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. We have a, oh number two. Help. Oh you it, oh, I can't do anything, guys. We're just we're just here. We're just here. It's okay. It's all good. Everything's fine. They're just warming up for the rain. Pay no one heed to the person <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I think after that we can move on to do a kit try to do kitten races. And then we have one more after that. And then that will that will We're still oh, waiting for voting. And then for Aries. Chaos. Oh, and Aries. Oh my god. Aries Aries was a different kind of chaos overlord because Aries, um, he just liked to give me heart attacks. You know what I mean? He wasn't like, I'm going to lead a revolution. He was more, I'm going to make you re regret all of your life decisions mm -hmm. while you're in school. 
which is always fun. Again, pay no attention to the person in the background. <laughs> he, they were just so fun. I love, I mean, Figaro, because Figaro had to be with me for so long because of his sickness and then everything that was going on. Like, I just got to see him grow into his nonsense mm -hmm. as he gets getting older and older. And like, he was so funny. Every time I would have a new kitten, he was like, hello? <laughs> I would like to be your friend. <laughs> and he was just so fun. And then, of course, Moon Pie. Oh, my God. What a guy. I know. I can't. I've, I've never had or will ever have another Moon Pie ever again. And I what think we are ready. We are ready. Our Chaos Overlord of 2023 is... Moon pie. Oh. I feel like that's yeah. well deserved. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Everything, <laughs> everything makes sense. Congratulations, Moon Pie. We're so proud of you. I know. I hope you're causing chaos in your new home yes. forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and now we are going to move on to kitten races. Yes. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. The idea of the kitten races is. We're going to put them at the start mm -hmm. and see who goes to the end fast enough. I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to try our best. And then the kittens will be able to have a little break as we kind of wrap up the stream itself. So I think what we'll do, if everyone is ready, we are going to grab the kittens and walk over to where we will be conducting the races. You ready? Are you ready? You better win. Listen, I didn't raise a loser. I'm being a winner. Winner. Oh, my God. Ready? Let's go. We're doing the kitten races. Are we ready? Rocking and rolling. Wait, you have to come get this one. I can't come over there. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the chaos of the behind the scenes. So the idea for the races is just make go fast. Because kitten. And I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, ready? Oh, my God. Okay, ready? Ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. Oh, my God. Pencil. Oh, no. He's going backwards. Pencil. Pencil. Pencil's gotten distracted by just the existence of the floor. Meanwhile, Sharpie's very <laughs> unsure about the camera. He's a false start. False start. False start, false start. Yeah, well, he's like, he's lapping them, but there's no need to be lapped. Paperclip has found the escape route. I I was not expecting this from her. Actually, I was. This is kind of who she is as a, as a kitten. Okay, we are slowly making our way to the finish line. Oh, we've gotten faster. Okay, well, oh, is, oh no, there's obstacles. Don't, she got scared. We got nervous. Pencil is very inquisitive. <laughs> pencil, pencil. Oh my gosh. He doesn't know what to do. Cross the finish line, buddy. Do it. Oh, pencil. Pencil is very cute. Yay! <laughs> and that was kitten races. They still are unsure. You guys that still need to cross the finish line. Pencil one, but girls, come on. I'm so embarrassed. You can do this. Oh my God, paper clip. Paper clip. <laughs> oh my goodness. Little babies. <laughs> All right. I have a I have a delinquent over here. Here we go. They can be in timeout for a little bit, not because they did anything wrong, but because sometimes mom needs a break. You know what I mean?
Okay. As they prepare everything, we only have two categories left. Our first category, or our second to last category, our first category, or second to last category. Um, before we get too far into that, I just I want to say a genuine thank you to you guys for coming here today, for showing up, for always supporting us in Miss Dixie's Kitten Rescue and helping us with the kittens. Um, we have big goals, and I always appreciate you guys supporting our goals, and um, we love you, and we appreciate you. And yeah, I not to get too sappy, but let's uh, we'll move right along. So our next category is the category where we have a few kittens who we wanted to give a title to, but we didn't really know if we could put other kittens in a category, so this is our honorable mentions. And it, they'll speak for themselves. You know what I mean? It, it just kind of is what it is at this point. <laughs> Are we ready to rock and roll? Rocking and rolling. Um, I mean, there's really no voting on this. Uh, it's just Foxy was the babiest baby to ever baby, mm -hmm. and I think that that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's fair. No I competition. Think <laughs> Moon Pie was always forever confused, mm -hmm. and Aries. Yeah, the Dinks. the Dinks, all of them. Oh man, those ones were fun because I was in the middle of class. I was in my last class for like the semester, and we got. Brand new kittens, and I was like, well, I guess they can go in my office. <laughs> <laughs> the classic office space. <laughs> the classic office space. If there is an empty space, know that I will fill it. <laughs> Except not this year. No. We're I've been trying not to do that. We're going to do better this <laughs> yeah. year. Everything's going to be great. Right. I wanted to, before we do our last category, there's uh, two more categories. <laughs> Before we do the second to last, last category. This is like when you ask your family, you're like on a road trip, you're like, are we there yet? And they're like, over the next hill. Yeah. And you go over the next hill and you're like, are we there yet? And they're like, the next one. And you're like, oh man. We have two more categories, but I still wanted to say thank you all. Thank you all for everything. Um, thank you for not judging me for all the things that I do. I will try to release the album. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it'll be a great time. Are we ready for the next one? Okay. Let's rock and roll. I love this. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's a baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, hey, bud. You guys look like... Okay. Hey, Mama. We'll get you your own separate space today, Mama. Oh, my goodness. Should we go some breakfast? Yeah. Oh, good yawn. <laughs> 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 Nobody. <laughs> Okay, first of all, arson. I think we've already talked about this one. A little bit, yeah. You guys know what's going on with that one. It is what it is, mm -hmm. and we loved it. Yeah. I got bullied for the first time on TikTok, because I don't post as much as Mary does on TikTok, and of course, like, that video just took off, and most people were just, like, thrown into the situation where they had no idea who we were or <laughs> why we were naming a kitten arson, and they were really mad about it. Oops. I was... Yeah, that's why I post the things on my channel so I get bullied. Don't you come after Bethany. 
or I will get you. We'll, we'll fight. <laughs> um, speaking of fighting, uh, the Dinks 2.0. I, I get it all the time. Is this Jenna Marbles? Is this Jenna Marbles reincarnated? You look like Jenna Marbles. I know. Listen, guys. When I tell you my entire personality was built off of watching her YouTube channel, I mean my entire personality was built off watching her YouTube channel. I have no originality. I am her who rescues cats. I get it. And I pay homage to her every year. Although she has left our hearts. No, she is still in our hearts. <laughs> no. She's still there. She's still here. <laughs> she has left the internet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> And she did leave on my birthday. Oh, no. Boo. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's a sad thing I bring up every year. I'm sad about it, but it's okay. Uh, she will always inspire what I do because I think she was the first person that I saw on the internet that was just, like, wildly themselves. And it was so accepted, and I love it, which is why I have to do every year an ode to Jenna Marbles. And this year it was Dinks 2.0. And last year it was Dinks one point. I'm, <laughs> I'll leave. <laughs> and then, of course, our 21st century disasters. Those ones were probably, I feel like, one of my most out there mm -hmm. because interest rates, like, there's, and there's no way to, like, shorten that. Right. Interest. Inti. Rady. <laughs> we just called her interest rates. That mm -hmm. was the whole thing. Right. And they were crusty and loud and the fun thing about that group is that they came to like our in-person adoption events which was oh. something new we started doing and so it was just really fun to have people come in and be like oh who's this and you're like interest rates <laughs> that's housing market and boy is she down yes <laughs> and interest rates she's pretty high right now <laughs> and then we have our white collar crime crew obviously um listen i thought it was funny Hot Roast mom actually was the one that named them. So she gets all of the credit. And I got all of the bullying. <laughs> <laughs> People either loved it or hated it. And you know what? It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they are loved and cared for. And their new family will probably change their names yeah. anyway. And am I forgetting anyone? I think that's everybody. I think that's everyone. We are ready right, to rock see. and roll. I think I know this one. The White Collar Crime yeah. Crew. Woo! <laughs> Congratulations. I believed in you. You will not be getting a Screamies because there's nine of you. There's so many. But congratulations. I love this for you. Um, that's all. <laughs> Expect more to come. Expect I mean, more to come. I mean, every year there's more, right? Mm -hmm. I can't be stopped. You don't know what goes on up here. I'm having a hard time. We're at 13,184. Thank you guys so much. I genuinely appreciate you. Shout out to Cindy for donating $500. Cindy, would you like to be my friend? <laughs> I was going to ask you to be my mom, but I don't think you want that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants to do that. Thank you. We we greatly appreciate it. Um, we ready for the last one? Okay, okay, wait. Before we move on to our last one, I want to give you guys another thank you. Remember, part of the proceeds of what we are raising, we are also donating to five other organizations. Um, Big Sis Home for Black Cats, Imagine Home, Happily Forever, Rescue, and Tabby Tales Cat Rescue, and of course, the Black Thornberry. <laughs> and we greatly appreciate you guys for all of your support. If you are not already subscribed, please subscribe on my channel to follow more kitten rescue stories. If you are able to and you can donate, please consider making a donation. That is all linked down below. I hope you guys had a good time. I can't tell you how stressed I was this week to put this on. And I have a final next week. And it's just so much happening all at once. But it is always worth it to show you guys gratitude for donating and helping us and also get the crew together and have a great time. I also want to give a huge shout out to Bethany. Oh. Her being Bethany. <laughs> Kay for flying out here and I don't know what she does. I'm just kidding. She's <laughs> she, does 
<laughs> she edits all of the videos that you guys saw, including the intro that I love personally. So um, and Val, who met Imagine Home today for the kitties, everyone who's working behind the scenes, and most importantly, Color House Productions, who has put this on for us today. Oh my God. <laughs> it's my fault because I can't read lips. Vic. Just a reminder. And finally, <laughs> the one person who is not here this year, but was here last year and literally helps me keep my entire life together. That is Vic. You guys met Vic before. You see Vic in the chat right now. Vic keeps me together. Vic is my shining star, my light, my right-hand woman. And I literally couldn't do any any of this without her, without you, and without everyone here. So thank you, everyone yes. here. You're Thanks, so appreciated. Guys. And um, let's move into the final category of the Screamies. one made me very uncomfortable i want you guys to be i want to be so for real with you right now because i'm being perceived and i don't love it but i do know that you guys love that mm -hmm. i can't control what comes out of my mouth half the time <laughs> and usually i'm just really happy that it made someone laugh and i didn't say something really stupid because i say that a lot but <laughs> these are just <laughs> funny little things that have caught on it's good mornings it's been here from the yeah. beginning Oh, and our wonderful sponsor, Pat Marie Designs, it's on the table, has made some good morning stickers. And if you use code MDKR10, you probably can't see that, but it's cute. If you use code MDKR10, you will get 10% off mm -hmm. of your order from Cat Marie Designs. Also, don't forget about Simply Be Vermont. They mm -hmm. make amazing catnip yeah. toys kickers all kinds of things and they have been a supporter of us for years yeah since and the first one we love that and of course churu the cat gogurt to tame all cats <laughs> yeah <laughs> we go through a lot it's disgusting for me but wonderful mm -hmm. for them and we yeah so we have, it's good mornings the ma'am and the yeah. sir again kind of got that from jenna sorry jenna I stole that one <laughs> it's not about you it's not for you Sorry, Jenna. <laughs> Stole that one as well. Um, I, when I said I don't have my own personality, I meant I don't have my own personality. <laughs> but uh, All right, guys. We have our final final category of the 2023 Screamies. We have the winner, and I guess that means I get to scream me. <laughs> it's good morning. There you go. I mean, did, Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank my mom for being my mom and your mom for being your mom. <laughs> I would, if we can, I would actually really like to watch the intro video one more time and then we can sign off because I love it so much. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro, but I love it. I got really sweaty filming it. We made her run around a lot. I ran a lot. I got many steps in. How many steps did I get in? Not many. Okay. It wasn't as many as I thought. I'm not going to say how much it was. But I got really um, embarrassingly tired and sweaty. And um, yes, I 
I threw them a curveball here. I can hear the kittens going crazy in the background. Yeah, okay, so the kittens are making artwork for um, the Screamy's prize packages right now. So we've got a cute little cardstock thing. There's catnip on top of it. They're rolling around. They're being artists. So three lucky random donors um, will be getting a one-of-a-kind art piece from from our our little office supplies. Yeah. I love that. It, listen, all that was Bethany's idea. I, I mean, just I, live, I laugh, love on TikTok. <laughs> we steal everything. <laughs> <laughs> we are unoriginal. We have a we have oh. an example right okay. now. Wow! I mean, amazing, so cute, and it will have a paw print signed by the artist once it dries. So, I mean, who couldn't want? Who doesn't want this? Beautiful. You know what I mean? <laughs> all right, ready to roll that intro one more time. Okay, enjoy this, and then this will be it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. <laughs> okay, yay. Oh. Show me the money. Note. I'm ready. I can't do this. The artist. <laughs> What's up, I'm at school. What are you doing at school? It's time for the screamies. <laughs> You're the one that's supposed to have things together. You're in Listen, school. I don't need this. I don't know how you got in with this sort of organization skill. Okay. But the screamies come first. God, I'm gonna keep doing this. Give me, give me so under this. Just go into the screen. Let's go. You need to get your butt home as fast as uh oh and spaghetti oh. That really hurt, <laughs> and I did it on accident. <laughs> screamies. I just. I was so tired. They they have a video coming where they can see it. (laughs) Thank you guys for tolerating me. (laughs) This was the first take. Yeah. But then he hit me in the face. She started to throw it hard. I meant it. She did so good. Look at my crew. They're so wonderful. She's coming. She's coming. I was in the corner. Yeah. Like right there eating. Makes sense. This is how you would want to <laughs> Why were they overalls? Because now they're not. <laughs> I was really tired at that point. <laughs> but now we're here. You are welcome. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Yes. We really you. appreciate you. Thank you for donating and supporting us. Can't wait to see what this year comes, yeah. this year brings. This will be (laughs) re-uploaded so you can watch it other times and share it with your friends and stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys so much. You can watch the re-upload on my channel. And if you missed it, if you're watching the replay, thank you so much. If If you are watching live, Thank you. Have a wonderful night or day, depending on where you're at. Goodbye. Bye. Aloha. Adios. Live, laugh, love. Good mornings.